the House is aware that the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, introduced a policy on cash-based transactions, which impose a cash handling charge on daily cash withdrawals that exceed 500,000 Naira for individuals and 3 million Naira for corporate bodies in 2012. The implementation of cashless policy on withdrawals has negative impact on micro, mini, small and medium enterprises, which are clearly the engine room for growth of the economy and employment generation, thereby throwing many of them out of business and sending more Nigerians into poverty, forcing more traders and micro investors to carry cash about with its attendant security challenges. Are these overbearing burden aimed at closing down majority of micro, mini, small, medium businesses in Nigeria is aimed at enriching Nigerian money deposit bank owned by a privileged few without any known financial contribution to the consolidated revenue fund of the Federation. Deeply concerned that the Central Bank of Nigeria did not consider the people as the prime important and indeed the centerpiece of policy making, even as section 14 sub 2b of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as altered provides for the security and welfare of the people as a primary purpose of government. Anything that will affect our people is our responsibility as representative of the people here. If we see anything that will affect people, to stop it. Mr. Speaker, seriously, I heard some people today complaining that somebody with a capital of 300,000, he is fear to keep that money in his home. He take to the bank. Maybe the property you will get out of that 300,000 is 5,000 or 7,000 naira. The bank will remove 15,000 for the deposit. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if we, if we, if we look, at, look at the situation, Mr. Speaker, people are suffering in this country, and now we are going to the CBN now are trying to become a robbers. So now they are, they are telling us that our local people will, will, will appear to take their money to the bank. And at last, then the criminal will get opportunity to go and, and, and continue stealing the money. So, Mr. Speaker, seriously, this issue will cause serious problems in this country. The prayer of the motion says four weeks to report back to the House. Mr. Speaker, I think that would be too long even if we are granted. In my view, we do not know the reasons why those who have called experts to look at our micro and macro finances have done that. We have relevant committees like you've suggested. In my thinking, I will agree, perhaps to the suspension, but if the central bank governor should immediately brief the relevant committee of the House, why? As to the, the appropriation of the transport for us to stand here and say, take a hold. We may not be interfering per se in the uh, uh, policy formulator makers. We are supposed to work together. There should be a synergy. I think the, the, the lacuna here that they've not briefed off why they are putting this in place.